Hi, in this session we'll discuss pivot graphs and then we'll discuss some of the basic pivot table options. Now the pivot table graphs are no different to what we have looked at so far. But when we'll go through them, you'll see the advantage of a pivot table graph over a normal graph. So I've got the sum of salary over here and I've got the number of employees across age groups. Let's insert a chart. Let's say I want to insert a column chart. Just now the scale of employees and the salaries it's completely different. Employees are just in single digits, whereas salaries are in thousands. So let me just put the salaries on a secondary axis. Format data series, secondary axis, and for the primary one. Let's just change series chart type Number of employees can be a line and now I'll click on OK and I can have my legend on top. I'll just zoom in a bit. Now what is different in this particular chart as compared to a normal chart is that you've got filters over here and this is similar to the filters what we have in the pivot. So you can apply filters over here and you can immediately see the change in trend. Whereas for a normal chart if you want to again and again change the source data you'll have to either create a number of charts with different combinations of data say one for female one for male and one for both male and female but over here in a pivot chart we can just use these filters and see the impact they have on the trend similarly you can apply filters over here also let's look at another graph so now for UK I've got the sum of salaries uh, for male and female and for USA again I've got sum of salaries female male let's plot this on a graph over here on the primary vertical axis you've got the salaries now this particular graph shows that the female population in both UK and US they are outperforming the male population in terms of salaries but the female population in US earns more than their counterparts in UK as well. So similarly you can try and insert other charts on the basis of data you are trying to summarize over here. Now let's look at some of the pivot table options. Whenever you click on pivot table a design conceptual tab starts to appear. Let me just change the data accordingly. Let me put age also over here. So now I've got for UK, I've got these different ages which are appearing. Similarly, for let me just zoom out a bit. Similarly, for US, you've got these different ages appearing. Now, if I go to design, Right now, as you can see, you've got subtotals appearing for the UK population. I've got subtotals appearing for the US population as well. So you can remove the subtotals. You can add the subtotals. Let's just keep them at the bottom. Then you can remove the grand totals. Report layout. This is just about changing the layout not going into it insert blank line after each item so just uh, so as soon as we are done with the UK it inserts a blank total similarly after US it inserts a blank total but there is no need of it so let's just remove it again go to design if I untick row headers see the difference column headers banded rows banded columns 
and from here you can change the color of your pivot table got these different options let's just go with this analyze tab we had seen filters over here using name or uh, gender let's put marital status also over here insert slicer slicer is another way by which uh, you can apply filters in a pivot and all you need to do is uh, suppose you want to add in a filter say on the basis of age so you'll click on okay now you can add in more slicers so just click on it analyze insert slicer let's say on marital status okay so if i want to place a filter over here so as you can see immediately it changes uh, now i can apply multiple items also so this is a very neat technique rather than going over here again and again and uh, selecting items from the drop down if you want to remove slicers you can just go over them and click on delete or you can clear the filter first and then delete now because for the first slicer which we had deleted the filter was still there so now we'll have to remove that filter so we'll go to row labels so now because in rows we've got two variables country and age so we need to select age and then we need to untick clear value from age and that is the way you can remove filters speaking of filters you can apply filters from here also label filters will apply labels on country or age the the two variables which we have over here so as you can see the us one gets removed now you can clear the filter there is another option which i will discuss over here is the group ungroup options let's go to another data set i have over here i've got daily expenditure data click on insert okay as soon as i drag and drop date from here all my dates have been grouped in quarters and then in quarters also in months this is something which does not happen by default in the older versions of excel but does happen in 2016 so you can ungroup them by selecting this now i've got all the dates over here you've got almost 547 dates but it does become difficult to look at all these dates separately so it's always better to group them so let's go to analyze group selection and you can choose your own selection over here so let's select months and years let's zoom out a bit so now i've got data for 18 months uh, over starting from 2015 onwards and then i can just look at the cost and then i can just insert to just look at any change in trend so these were some of the options in pivot tables and uh, as in when you start using pivot tables more you'll get more comfortable with them and then you will be able to use uh, these options more efficiently now following this video we definitely have uh, uh, this data also available for you to just try out these things what we've just gone through and i have also given you a case study the case study has data for genuine and fraud customers all you need to do is you need to analyze the data using a pivot table and try and identify a segment where the fraud customers are present and once you are through the case study uh, if you have any questions or any queries just drop me a note thank you